considered in bounds? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it all has a push of bounds. Crazy America. On December 3rd, 2019, I hit the most epic shot of my life. After a vicious hook left, I found my ball on a beach. I was a long way from home in every sense of the word. This was the 12th hole at Al Muj Golf Club in Muscat, Oman. That's the sea of Oman behind me about to swallow my ball. And before I show you how this shot turned out, I should probably tell you how I got here. Getting here to Al Muj in Oman, here in Muscat, and we're going to speak to the club managers again. Do a little digital marketing seminar. It's a beautiful day here. Mountains behind me. If you can see it in the distance, and this course is spectacular. There's some fantastic ocean holes, and a lot of fun Greg Norman design. So we're going to have some fun today. Going to head on in there, and time to spread the gospel about golf marketing. So I was here to give a seminar to the seven clubs that are in Oman. The club managers and I had an incredible time over the course of three hours. I was lucky that Al Muj played host and I figured I'd better take advantage of it. I've heard so much about this place. It's a European tour stop and it's designed by the shark himself. I was just down at, uh, in Oman and playing Al Muj and I loved it. Tell me, what, tell me what, um, why that's such a special place for you. The Middle East is a special place for me. Uh, what we did in Dubai and then what we did in Oman and what we did in Jordan and now what we're going to do in the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is, is uh, really important because I pride myself on being a golf diplomat. And golf diplomacy for me is really, really important. So no matter whether I'm growing the game of golf in Vietnam or anywhere else in the world, in, in Saudi Arabia or wherever we go, it's important. Man. That whole design criteria oh, yeah. is because of the water coming off the airport too. Right. The shanty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. First time in Oman, we'll see how we hit them. Right, well then. Al Muj is placed on a very narrow strip of land between the coast and the airport, which means you get plane after plane after plane running along the first four holes perpendicular to your shots. It's pretty cool actually. As you will most certainly hear and see, it was an extremely windy and challenging day out there. playing too well but this is the fifth hole their signature hole a little island green out there Greg Norman getting a little tricky on us okay good luck no. yeah that's on oh how lucky <laughs> they actually dredged this lake and they found 3,000 balls Graham tells me in there Good swing there. Yeah. Oh, good shot. The fifth hole is definitely the gem of the front side. That is, until you hit the ninth hole, where everything about this golf course changes. 
It's like everything was leading up to this, and from this hole on, it got better and better and better. All right, we have a pretty cool little surprise here. We've got the Persian Gulf right behind you on this hole. This is really pretty. Wind's whipping off probably 30 miles an hour or something. <laughs> And nine holes later, I finally made my first putt. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> What's your favorite hole out there, just out of curiosity? I hit it on the beach in 12, I played a shot off the beach. Probably, uh, <laughs> I think it's the past three, the one going straight out. Yeah, yeah. it's gorgeous. Really good. And let me tell you, Greg is not wrong. This probably would have been my favorite hole on the course if it wasn't for what happened on the next. Wow, now this course is really showing some teeth and some beauty at the same time. With my game really starting to come into its own on the back side, I stepped up to the 12th hole and teed it up. <laughs> Left. Graham was a good man and chased my ball down, found it on the beach, but he wasn't prepared for what was about to happen next. Oh, look at that! Well, let me play that! Considered it bounce? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the ball has a push of the bounce. Crazy. America. I got, I got this shot in my bag. <laughs> good luck with that. Shot of my life. It landed dead center on the fairway, and the rest of the round was all downhill from here. When I got back to my hotel room that night, I did what any rational person would do. I plastered that video all over social media, but the responses that I saw the next morning when I woke up were nothing short of astounding. The posts went viral. It was the number one golf post on Reddit and on LinkedIn, and from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter, people were having discussions about that golf shot. They were arguing if I was inbounds or out of bounds, if I could hit that shot or not. They were sharing satellite images of where I was exactly in the world. People were asking questions about El Mouj and talking about how it was next on their bucket list. The passion that people have for the game of golf is unmatched and it was so special to feel that on the other side of the world. And then when I got the opportunity to meet Greg Norman, shake his hand and tell him how much of an impact that course had on me, that just took it to the next level. And like I said, that was the shot of my life. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll come with me on many more of these adventures. Make sure to hit subscribe 
make sure to comment about your favorite golf shot, and I'll catch you next week on another edition of Let's Play Through.